Donald Trump facing increasing widespread backlash following his attack on the ethnicity of the judge presiding over his Trump University trial and pointing out his Mexican heritage. I think it all really began with Newt Gingrich, who criticized Trump's remarks over the weekend. Uh, Donald Trump, though, isn't happy about that. Take a listen. This is one of the worst mistakes Trump has made. And I think it's inexcusable. This is no longer the primaries. He's no longer an interesting contender. He is now the potential leader of the United States, and he's got to move his game up to the level of being a potential leader. I was surprised at Newt. Uh, I thought it was inappropriate what he said. All I'm trying to do is figure out why I'm being treated so unfairly by a judge. And What's a lot your... of people agree with it. Other notable critics of Trump on this issue include Marco Rubio, Senator Susan Collins, and John Kasich, who's actually demanding an apology. Joining me now, Kristen Tate, Gianno Caldwell, Eric Guster, and Carl Higby. Carl, I'll go to you first. Uh, you're a Donald Trump surrogate. Uh, late in the day, by the way, there was reports that Donald Trump getting a little bit upset at you guys, that surrogates uh, uh, maybe not pressing these issues hard enough. Uh, where, 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 where do you stand? Where does the Trump campaign stand on this right now? Well, first of all, he didn't get mad at anybody. Donald Trump is always very appreciative of every single person that supports not, him. And not mad, yeah. per se, but just a little bit angry about the facts not being... Uh, put across correctly. Well, the facts aren't being put across directly. And, and I think what, what, what the thing is, is he said, look, they've judged Mexican and that's okay. The, fu the thing that we need to focus on here is that this judge, regardless of the facts that he uh, has Mexican parents, he was born in Chicago and, and Trump said that he may not get a fair trial because he might have Mexican heritage. This judge gave money to the Hillary Clinton Foundation. He gave money to Hillary Clinton. This dude should not be presiding over this case, and that's the fact of the matter that we well, need to get out. There, now, that's a much more legitimate beef, but the problem, though, is that, and, and Eric, I'm sure you want to jump in here, <laughs> is, that, that, is that the Mexican heritage was brought up on more, on more than one occasion. No, I wouldn't hit you. You're a former <laughs> Abe Seal. But, uh, by the way, have you seen him do his push-ups? You yeah. know, he might, yeah. he might break me in two. But we have a person who's running for the presidential seat of the United States, and he talks about a person's Mexican heritage. That is racism. It, it's clear as day because what Trump has been accused of is blatant racism, and what he's done with this particular issue is saying, hey, this guy can't preside over my trial because he's Mexican, not because he gave money to Hillary, so you not don't because think, of any you other factor, but think because he's somebody Mexican. who's expressed uh, p pride in their Mexican heritage would not be offended by some of the things that Donald Trump has said, and maybe that will cloud his judgment? That, I mean, you're saying that, that humanly that's not possible. He's a federal judge who's presiding over his case who's actually ruled in Trump's favor on many issues. So Trump is literally putting his feet into Except his mouth the the and hopefully, hopefully he'll, he will stop this foolishness. And I'm actually shocked that Newt Gingrich came out and said something about it because Jeez. people who were behind Trump just let him go and This is Trump, He's fire. not going to apologize. This is, this is, he's going to stay and strong. And that's a problem. Yeah. Not, that's a problem. That's problem. a human yeah. element. A problem. I'm sorry for what I did, but when you have someone who says, I will never apologize to anyone, and that's what they're doing with their actions, but that's I don't not so let me, let me bring you Gianno. Gianno, Gianno, I want to bring you into the conversation. You're a Donald Trump supporter. Where do you stand on this particular issue? Well, as you said, I am a Republican. I unequivocally, unequivocally support the Republican nominee. I do not believe that Donald Trump is racist. I do, however, believe that this oh. comment is inappropriate, and I don't think there's something he should have said. Here's why. Um, as a guy who's running for president, this is honestly beneath the office of the presidency. Further, it gives other folks who would say, oh, I believe that this person is against me because of their race, uh, the freedom to continue to push that. And I think that that's problematic on many levels. You know, Kristen, here's the thing, and I think, uh, and, and Carl hit on it, there are a lot of uh, things with this judge that I think Donald Trump could legitimately go after. Uh, the, the Mexican thing, it, it makes everyone a little uneasy, I think. And certainly Newt Gingrich coming out, someone who's supposedly at the top of the VP list, just sort of underscores that. Absolutely. I think Donald's Trump comment was a stupid comment. But here's the thing. Republicans really need to stop attacking each other, Charles. We have the liberal media doing that enough already. Newt Gingrich said that if liberals attacked Clarence Thomas for being black, that uh, we'd all be going crazy. Well, guess what? Liberals do attack Clarence Thomas for being black. Um, you had a representative very recently, I think his name is Benny Thompson, call him an Uncle Tom. And he faced no blowback for that comment at all. So the bottom line is Republicans have got to come together. They've got to stop attacking each other. And uh, we got to move on from this issue. Real quick, I do want to ask you, Carl, but if Donald Trump does make these sort of comments and he, and he refuses to budge, doesn't it make it easier 
for, for the Democrats to paint a picture of him that he says he's not. Dude, Donald Trump is not going to get painted any different picture than he's already painted for himself. Donald Trump has driven this race exactly where he wants it to be. He's not a fool when it comes to this stuff. He's going to lead it right where he wants to go. And I hope he drives into the I ditch. Well, there, I, do, I do think that, that no matter who the uh, Republican candidate is, a lot of progressives would have called him or her uh, a racist at some point. Uh, people should uh, just get Trump over isn't it. making it easier for himself, <laughs> I don't think. Yeah. Hey guys, U.S. Yeah. stocks rally today, uh, much higher me. on the heels of uh, Fed chairman kind of downplaying that ugly jobs report. Uh, now, she did emphasize that.